under pomp rules. You know, there was recently an interview between Stasi and Lala. Um, Stasi is no longer on the show. She hasn't been on the show for quite a few seasons, but Lala is still on this on the show. So Stasi has a podcast. I've heard of her podcast. I know that it's doing very well. I had never listened to it prior to this interview. But I was very curious to go and listen to the interview because the tides are changing. The shift is finally there. Remember, guys, I've been talking to you about this. And I've said it's better to not be team Ariana, team this, team that. Because at the end of the day, people are not going to stick with Ariana for that long. Eventually, that will run its course. So you might as well just not take any team. Like, you know, I've said this extensively. I feel that what happened to Ariana was, you know, a shame. What Tom and Raquel did, you know, it was very shameful and very sad and all of that. But I've also, I've also been very vocal and said to my listeners that I did not agree with um, the crucifixion of, uh, of Tom and Raquel. I was not, um, you know, I, I, you will not be able to find a hashtag from me that says Team Ariana, uh, FU Raquel or anything like that. It's just not what I do. And at the end of the day, I've also said that, you know, good people can do bad things, right? So if we, we start from that concept, then there's a lot of things that you can um, not necessarily understand, but have um, understanding for, right? So, um, you can go back to my podcast, uh, sometime in March of this year, um, not right after the scandal, but just like a few weeks. I, I just wanted to let the dust settle at that point. You can go back to that podcast and listen to it. I think today it's even more relevant than it was, uh, back in March of 2023. Maybe it was a bit too forward at that point, right? But today I feel like that episode would be very relevant. So in a nutshell, um, Stasi had Lala on her podcast. And uh, well, instead of me trying to explain what Lala actually said, why don't I play the recording for you guys instead? So here it is happened like if people want to believe that that's fine but i am looked at as the girl who like deserves certain things because i'm very vocal people have seen me for many years go off and so it's looked at as like well this was just humbling for you you needed this lala i completely understand this because yeah. that is just like in the first few seasons of vanderpump rules when Jax cheated then when Jax cheated with Kristen, and like yeah. all of those little times people were just like well you're such a bitch of course you deserved it and then you see somebody like ariana who gets cheated on and the whole world just like falls to her feet and mm -hmm. it's like wait hold on um a lot of us have been cheated on but we deserved it because yeah. we're we're tougher like isn't that it's just so weird to watch that like people react to different women being cheated on so differently i know it's gross and the the la times did a spotlight piece on me and they asked um this woman i think she was a, a professor at columbia and she was talking about how when something like this happens you have to be the perfect victim in it you have to be neutral at all times you can't really have a past because if you have those things then you're looked at as someone who deserved it and even though it, it's not fair and it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's just the way it is. And that's why I do feel so badly for, for women who have been through something mm -hmm. and they decide to share their story. You know, they do have to comb through all of these things that they may have done in their past. Yeah. Or like, it, it just, it feels very suffocating. And yeah. so last year, or when all, when Scandal happened, it was a moment where I sat there and I was like, damn, like... Ariana was cheated on and granted, like, I can't imagine it being a friend, but to be able to, like, stay in the same house and kind of, you know, the only thing you give up is just the title of things. And then, and I don't like to compare, but in that moment, you can't do anything but compare. Like, I'm, I'm only human. I can only compare your experiences. Right. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Like, I really wish that 
it would have been just the cheating with my ex and I could have like taken time to really get my life together. Yeah. And I didn't have time. Yeah. It was like, we have to make moves now. I have too many vans. I have to get as much as I can out. I'm going to have to leave my grandmother's, you know, chest at Randall's house. I'm going to have to leave the mirrors that I was like there with my grandma when she bought. Like there was so much that I couldn't take that I was just praying that I would get back. And like my one year AA chip being in the side drawer that like I just happened to not grab. And you're just praying that everything is still going to be there. So there you have it, guys. Um, this this was Lala. And by the way, I have to say, I'm not a big Lala fan, okay? I am not. I think she's a beautiful girl. Um, you know, she's beautiful. She's good for the show and all of that. But I just, something about Lala on Vanderpump Rule, I, I, I can't. Like, it's, she's just not for me, right? I find she's beautiful, but it's just a vulgarity for her. Like, I just can't take it. Like, I don't, I don't mind the curse, the choice words, but it's just sometimes like, you know, I don't know. Like sometimes people, I find like they're, they're just too much, you know, you're from Utah. Stop acting like you're from the streets. You're not from the streets. Okay. The streets would eat you alive. So just chill Lala. Okay. (laughs) But I have to say, I have to say that I actually liked that interview between Lala and Stassi. And To be honest with you, if we could get this Lala, this Lala that speaks like this all the time, I would love it. Like give them this, give me this Lala, right? Because what she said, to me anyways, it makes a lot of sense. And I've seen online, you know, the interview, I don't know if people have listened to the entire interview or if they have listened to just this clip, but I will say that it is definitely worth it to listen to the whole thing. Because some people are saying, oh, you know, she is salty. Her and Stasi are salty that they're not basically getting the same level of attention that Ariana is getting from this, right? So people are trying to spin it in a negative way. This is not how I received it, okay? I think that what Lala is saying is actually quite valid. The only thing that I have to say is that there is a little bit of hypocrisy coming from Lala, when she says this, because not from Stasi, because Stasi, you know, she's not on vendor pump rules. Uh, from what I understand, she has not really been involved in that whole scandal all thing, right? Um, the other ones, they have returned from the dead and talked and comment about it. But Stasi, she has just been living her best life. I think she's pregnant again and all of that, right? So anyways, basically, what Lala is saying in that interview is that you need to be the perfect victim in order for fe- for people to have compassion for you, right? So people will react to a woman that gets cheated on depending on the type of past, uh, you know, that she has or history that she has, right? But at the same time, what Lala is asking for, although it is very valid and I agree with what she said, what she's asked, asking for, she did not extend, herself to Raquel. She did not. Because at the end of the day, um, Lala was on that stage and she was saying to Raquel, like all of these, she was telling, she was saying all sorts of ridiculous and hurtful words to her. She was getting like, she was very hateful at that reunion. I was not for it. I was not for it. I did not like the way she talked to that girl. Um, It was way too much. And by the way, I feel like somebody should have like done something. Like I was not happy to see Andy just stay there and say nothing. I think Lisa Vanderpump a few times, she said that, you know, guys, stop. Like you don't have to be like that. But I think that they could have been a bit more vocal and someone should have like stood up and said, that's enough, guys. We're not going to continue this filming, the shooting of the reunion, if you guys cannot calm down. I'm surprised no one has grabbed Raquel to say, listen, you don't have to take their abuse. This is too much. You don't deserve that. Everybody just kind of sat quietly and just watched this girl get crucified by a bunch of people that really cannot throw the first rock. Really. Right. And I don't care. People want to come and say, well, you know what, Stella, she cheated. Yes, I know she cheated. I know she cheated on she she cheated with Tom. 
and it was her best friend or one of her friends or good friend. I'm aware of that. But what I'm saying is just because she did that, it does not warrant people standing in your face and tell you, 